Want to install a ROM that performs well? Has no lags is based on the latest Android version and is basically snappier than all the other ROMs out there on your Android One device? Well, you're watching Freaks and Geeks and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to our Android One video. Yeah, finally I'm making a video on the Android One. You guys have been requesting this video for a lot of time and I hope that you like my new setup wherever I am setting. As you know that the download links for the ROM and the gapps package will be given in the description box below. So you just need to download them and store them on your SD card or your internal storage. And once you're done, you need to press the power button and the volume up button together ensuring that you have already powered off your device. So let's quickly go ahead and press the volume up button and the power button. Okay, so this will boot your device into a lot of fast boot commands. Basically, you need to navigate to recover and hit the power uh, the volume down button so this is gonna boot your device into recovery mode you can have any recovery but I have fill touch you can have TWRP or CWM the which one ever you prefer so as you can see whoa 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 whoa, whoa. so as you can see I am currently into fill touch recovery and from there if you are using fill touch recovery or if you are in TWRP recovery go to wipe and if you are in TWRP select Dalvik system data and cache and give swipe to wipe or if you are in fill touch clean to install a new ROM so once you're done with that procedure, you need to go to install zip and for in TWRP you need to go to install and from install zips choose wherever you have stored the downloaded ROM and the gapps package. So let's just find it out. So as you can see Resurrection Remix 5.8.3 uh, for Sprout 4, basically do not worry guys this will work both on Sprout 4 and on Sprout 8. So you gotta select that and you need to flash it and once you're done flashing it just flash the Google Apps also the links for which will be given in the description box below. So once you're done with that we do not have to wipe anything just go ahead and hit reboot system and this is the same for fill touch as well as TWRP recovery. So not to worry about that and let's quickly boot up into Resurrection Remix and give you a quick overview of what the ROM is all about. So as you can see we have booted into the ROM and this is a lock screen basically I have changed the wallpaper so you guys already know what lock screen looks like let's quickly go ahead and unlock it and I have flashed uh, the pixel experience zip so I'm getting this pixel launcher otherwise if you wanted you can also flash the pixel experience zip so let's just quickly go ahead and look what Android version we are getting with this so going into about phone as you can see it's running on the Android version 7.1.2 uh, that's the latest of the Android versions so and it also has an android security patch level of april 5th not the latest one uh, basically uh, because i am running an old build of resurrection remix and if i can i'll be giving the updated links in the description box below so uh, you can just hope that it is the updated link and as you can see one ram is of 1 gb and let's quickly go ahead and see what all customization options that we have been given so let's go into configurations and use on the basic resurrection remix drill guys the all different kinds of tons and tons of customization options have been given for example we have clock customizations brand logo custom logos basically i do not like to keep a lot of customizations because guys this device is not very powerful so giving it a too much of customization means that putting a lot of load on the processor and the processor is not really that good and moreover it also has one gigs of ram so i do not really think that you should be giving it a lot of customizations though you have been provided with that but yeah still a 32 bit processor is running android 7.1.2 so what all do you want so here you can see we have battery customizations notification ticker so yeah i have switched that on i love the ticker guys we have weather and network traffic we can also show over here currently i'm not connected to my wi-fi network so it's not showing carrier Table, status bar gestures system ui tuner bearing notifications in panels we have notification panel customizations as you can see a lot of customization options have been provided here in recents you can customize the general ui as you can see show memory bar immersive recents and you can also change how your recent will look as you can see we have recent style over here and we have button style we can custom recent style we can customize the animations of the recents 
and from here we can also have the clear all button uh, which is also basically a default option in android nougat uh, we also have omni switch use slim recents is also there we have quick settings customize we have quick settings customizations uh, here you can customize the different types of tiles that are shown over here as you can see and from here you can customize the animations and if you will be wanting a haptic feedback when you press them and uh, we have also tile layout i have changed the tile layout on my phone so yeah lock screen customizations as you can see color customizations bottom shortcuts and guys i cannot really go into every bit because it's gonna make the video too long so i'm just giving a general overview of what all customization options have been given so we have gesture support like app circle bar pie control three finger gesture you know the basic drill right uh, we have navigation bar customization uh, we have been given smart bar settings from here you can also control the button touch animation like pixel and pixel all buttons flip spring ripple and stuff so I'm currently using the pixel navigation button animation so input measure and media actions and a lot of stuff is there navigation button tint and we also have navigation mode basically smart bar and fling which basically you can control your navigation with a single button so I don't know how many of you guys will be using that we have dynamic nav bar color that looks pretty dope and animations in system animations you know that all you can customize here font size display size custom lcd density pixel and you have blur and i did not find any kind of bugs over here guys because i have been using this rom for the past yeah two or three weeks and i'm pretty happy with the performance of this device guys because in android 7.1.1 it was just so laggy and yeah i showed you guys the rom that is was that was the octos rom and it was the only rom based on android 7.1.1 and it was just less optimized for the device and it was not really performing at all good there were force closes and there were bugs lags were full in it and uh, youtube playback was also not really that smooth but i have i can say confidently that this rom guys is just outstanding and it has been fully optimized for this device and uh, you will find that this has device has become so so snappier after installing this rom as you can see it's running perfectly smooth and apps also open up fine and it did do take some time because guys this is a very old processor and it's a 32 bit processor so you need to give you need to consider that processor guys because for that processor it's running android 7.1.2 as you can see it's pretty fine but one advice from my side to you guys will be that just do not load in a lot of apps because i've already tried that and do not load in a lot of heavy games because that tends to slow down the device the pros there are three mainly first is there are lots and i mean lots of customization options second this rom is snappy as hell and the third is rarely any lags yeah rarely mark that word and now the cons the camera still does not work i don't know why it still is crashes and just do not install too many apps otherwise the phone might just struggle keeping up with your pace outstanding performance if you are expecting from this device when compared to the other redmi note 3 you will not get it from this device but uh, Compared to the other ROMs that are available for this device and guessing that it's the only 7.1.2 ROM Resolution Remix and in terms of customization is concerned then this is the best ROM in terms of performance. So I really really hope that you enjoyed this video guys uh, Android 1 video finally. So if you did don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up that is drop a like before you leave and do not forget to subscribe to my channel because more Android 1 videos, Euphoria, Redmi Note 3, Mi 5, yeah Mi 5 I'm forgetting that device are gonna come in the near future. So until next time do press that bell icon to get notified every time a new video goes online on Freaks and Geeks. Until next time stay a freak and stay a geek. Peace.